All right, so heading over to the MLB, we got game three of the World Series as the series switch over to Trustwood Park in Atlanta. Um, that's going to be on Fox. First pitch, 8.09. Uh, Houston going to have Luis Garcia on the mound. Atlanta going to have Ian Anderson on the mound. And uh, it seemed like Atlanta is the favorite. So with that said, Jay, what we're going to see tonight, man? I think if you look back at the first two games of the series, it's really it's really come down to which team could start fast offensively, and conversely, which which team starting pitcher was able to hold down the other team's offense. What you saw in Game One was Fran Valdez struggled. Uh, you know, he, he uh, the Braves were all over his uh, sinking fastball, couldn't really get the curveball going. Um, you know, they got five runs within the first three innings, and you know that was it. Uh, on the opposite side, Charlie Morton, you know, he ended up leaving the game with a broken leg. You know, amazingly, he, you know, got, I think he pitched to six batters or something crazy after Yuli Gurriel, um, you know, took that ground ball right off his leg. Uh, but he was able to come in. He was able, when he was in the game, he was able to hold things together. And then they that allowed uh, Brian Snicker to go to that bullpen. We talked about those uh, three lefties. Minner came in there. He did a great job. They sprinkle in a little Luke Jackson, and then you have Matzik and Will Smith. In the game two, it was the opposite. Houston got going quick. They put up, I think they put up five in the first two. They had a big four run in where they just had, what, they had four straight singles at one point. They just kept the line moving. And, you know, that was, you know, that was the game there because, you know, Jose Urquidy, he wasn't, uh, he was, he didn't completely shut down the Braves. But he limited them to just two runs over five innings. You get the Astros bullpen in play. You have Javier. You got Phil Maton, Presley, Graveman. You know, those guys came in. They slammed the door. So, you know, if you look at game three, you know, sometimes it's as simple as just which starting pitcher can get out and, est you know, establish what he wants to do. And, I, you know, it's it's a it's a tough one. You got two young guys, um, Garcia, you know, I'm thinking about this guy. You know, this is a guy who, you know, throughout the year, you know, I was, I didn't think this guy would, you know, be this key to this team at this stage. Uh, but he, but he's here now and he, he's definitely got the stuff. And you look what he did against Boston in game six of the ALCS. He was able to hold that team down, had, you know, a no hitter going through five innings. So, you know, we'll see if he can keep that going. Uh, he's had his struggles in this postseason that well, but on the other side, Ian Anderson, you know, it's a it's a new situation for him too, uh, but he's definitely got great stuff. So it's gonna it's gonna come down to you know which offense you know can able to scratch a few runs across and which starting pitcher is on their game. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to which way to go, but uh, I, I'm obviously sticking with Houston. I'll pick them in six to start this. So I think they're gonna take two out of these three games in Atlanta, and then they'll close this thing out in Houston in Game Six. But um, that's that's where we're at. I think, uh, you know, we'll see if the home field comes into play. We'll see if the weather's, you know, a factor at all. But uh, I, I, I am taking Houston, and I, I think they'll go up 2-1. All right, very well. Um, listen, so we, we, we went from American League, you know, rules to now we're going to National League rules. And um, listen, you know what I'm looking at? I, t I brought this up to you before the show. I want to see where all your Donis Everett is going to be at now. Now that we're going to the National League rules, listen, this guy's a slugger, but we know, hey, he don't play much defense for a reason, folks. Um, he seemed like he will be out there. I want to see if that throws off Houston at, at, at some point. We know they want to go offensive. That's why they got him in there. Let's see if that, if that move will hurt their defense enough where the Braves can capitalize off of that. Um, that's, that's one of the things I'm looking at, but, you know, I, outside of that, I, I mean, that's the only thing. So if they figure that out or if they can make that work, I think Houston will be comfortable here. Because this is more of Houston pace here. Atlanta won the first game. Houston won the second game. You go back to that, the, the, last, um, the last round for both teams. Houston was a team that they kind of started slow. And then towards the end of each game, they picked it up. They picked it up. They picked it up. Remember this now. Boston came out there and was giving them the smoke in the beginning of the season. And then as the season went along, I mean, series, giving them the smoke in the beginning of the series, as the series went along, Houston figured it out. And then 
they they you know they kind of grind it grind it grind it next thing you know it was over in six I, I like i felt like and i even made a comment to you you know because i know how you love your your astros you know i even made a comment to you like hey you know hey your boys ain't looking too good out here baby so um with that said now that i want to say the bit one of the biggest differences now is the fact of instead of playing all six games under american league rules now you're playing you play the first two games on american league rules now you're switching over your your next two you know games probably on the um national league rules so i mean i i i like how you can take these dynamics and these little dynamics can make a, a difference in who wins and who lose but i am with you i will take houston if the defense still is capable of doing what they got to do with Alvarez out in, the, in you know in left field if he cannot if they can pick on Alvarez and make him use those knees that he don't like to use we'll we'll see how that works but I, I think right now on face value I'm gonna have to take Houston tonight and to that point that's a great point uh, about your on Alvarez we were definitely curious about how Dusty Baker would manage his outfield when they went to the National League Park and what I'm guessing is they just look at this situation and say, Jordan Alvarez, his bat is just too valuable for them to leave out the lineup. And they'll just, they'll just take the risk. You know, if there's, you know, I, the guy is not a plus defender. We just can't say that at this stage. But as long as he goes out there and just makes routine plays and doesn't, like, embarrass himself. And he, th this is a guy that's a good athlete. When you watch him run the bases, he's, he's a good athlete. So, you know, I, I think... I think the, the key thing for me is when Luis Garcia pitches, his cutter and slider will be paramount to this game. He's got a great cutter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to run away from right-handed batters. It's going to you know, get in on the hands of lefties. If he can have that pitch plus his slider working, that's going to yield to you know, the ball being hit the other way more than more so to left field. But, I mean, now, now if the – Depending on how the Braves work, if they attack that fastball, maybe they can get around on and maybe test Alvarez. But that's definitely something to watch to see, you know, how if the fact that Alvarez is out in left field, does that change the Braves' approach when they bat? And that's definitely something to keep an eye on. But I do think Luis Garcia has the stuff to, you know, protect Alvarez, so to speak. Similarly to how when Framer Valdez is on the mound. Uh, he's a he's a guy that gets a lot of ground balls. Got about a 70% ground ball rate, which is just ridiculous. And you see Baker from time to time deploy Alvarez in the outfield during games like that because he knows there's not going to be a lot of balls hit to the outfield. So definitely Alvarez bears watching in the outfield, but also Garcia, how he pitches, and we'll see if that cutter and slider can pay dividends tonight.